How bad is city drinking water? Ask a plumber. The problem is most plumbers may not know how to tell you. In this video, we're going to talk about how to test your water and make sure you hang around to the end because I'm going to give you a tip to give you the best drinking water you can get. So when I tell you to ask a plumber, how good is your city drinking water? Most plumbers may not know, but we've got a test kit. Actually, we've got two test kits that we use because we're trying to test two different things. So first of all, what I'm going to talk about is water hardness. The reason being is if you own a home, how hard the water is can really affect you, but it can also affect your plumbing system. If you're a plumber, you should already know this. You should understand that that's really what helps cause problems in the toilets and tub and shower valves and lavatory faucets and kitchen faucets, the cartridges, everything that gets all that white powdery buildup in it, that is due to the hard water. Now, if you live in an area that has hard water, you should already know this. That way, when you walk in and talk to your customers, you should tell them, look, there are certain things that we can do to improve your water quality. If you're installing a tankless water heater or something, you're supposed to treat that water before it goes into it anyway. So my question is, what are you doing as a plumber to take care of your customers? And what are you doing as a homeowner to take care of your plumbing system? Now, if you're into DIY plumbing, this is something that you as a homeowner, you can check yourself. You can actually order water test kits or if you go to some of the big box stores, they'll tell you all the time they're running a free water quality test. They'll come out and test your water. Now, don't get me wrong. They're coming for one reason. They want to sell you a water filtration system. They're going to sell you the kind that goes under your sink because that is strictly for your drinking water. And don't get me wrong. City drinking water, man, it's not perfect. But there's a lot of reasons why. Now, hard water, that's calcium and magnesium. It is what it is. So you either learn to deal with the hard water or you get a water softener or an anti-scaler. Now, they do two different things. The water softener, what I don't like about it is it wastes a lot of water. It does this because it regens so often, regenerates and cleans itself out that it wastes a lot of water. It backwashes it. Water filtration systems, some of those do the same thing, but a good one doesn't waste near as much water. Testing for hard water is going to tell you how much calcium and magnesium you have. What I like is an anti-scaler. We've got anti-scalers that we use, and if you want to call me and talk to us about which one, we'll tell you about it. We like the anti-scale system because it literally keeps the calcium and magnesium suspended in the water so it comes out just like it's supposed to. What happens without an anti-scaler or a water softener, it starts sticking to the inside of your plumbing. That's that white powder. When you look up in the shower, at the shower head, and you see all that white powder on it, go ahead, look up. Look up at yours. You see all that white powder around it. What that is, that's the calcium and magnesium starting to build up. Now, same thing on your aerators. Look at your aerator on your lavatory sink. Look at that hard, crunchy calcium and magnesium buildup that's what it's doing inside your dishwasher, your washing machine, your ice maker. Anywhere that it, the water goes through, that's the buildup that you're getting. If you live in a house and you have to have your shower cartridges changed ever so often because they quit working right, chances are that's the problem. The other thing that we deal with is chlorine and chloramine. In 1974, the EPA enacted the Safe Drinking Water Act through the federal government. Now, that was a good thing. But what we have had to do is put in more chlorine and chloramine to keep the mold, mildew, and bacteria out of our drinking water system. Guys, that's a great thing. We don't want that. But the problem is, it's just like carrying vegetables home from the produce section. They've got pesticides all over them. That's good because it keeps the bugs off. The problem is, we got to rinse them off. And yes, I'm joking about pesticides being good. But that's what the farmers do to help keep the bugs off. So what we have to do is make sure that we rinse those vegetables real well. Our water's different. It comes to us all clean with all the chlorine and chloramine and fluoride and stuff like that still in it. The water filtration system will help take out the chlorine and chloramine. Now, it takes a completely different system to take out the fluoride. And it's a pain because you've literally got to change that system about every six months. The filtration systems that we use you work on about once every 20 years, meaning you change out the carbon in it about once every 20 years. <clears throat> but guys, here's the good thing. 
The reason that I put a filtration system on my house, number one, I wanted to know how well it works. And yes, I put on the anti-scaler too, but I put them both on because number one, I wanted to know how well they worked. But number two, the water quality had got so bad that literally every morning going to brush my teeth, all I could smell was chlorine. So what I'm going to do now is show you how we do those two tests. All right. So right here, I've got my hardness test kit. This is soft check and I like it because literally all I have to do is take this paper strip, run it under the water for a little bit, and then I've got a scale right here. So I can slide it down and see how hard my water is. And as you can tell, I'm down here. You see my numbers. I'm down here where the very hard water is. And right here's a 15, right here's a 25. But either one of those numbers are really hard water. So this is a problem around here, and we know that. So that's how you test the hardness. The chlorine is a little bit different is really cool because what you're doing is you're trying to match a color and it makes it very easy but what you do is take one of these ampules out kind of cool huh i love playing with stuff so as you see we filled up the water to the 25 level and then you take this and you break it and it's vacuum packed so literally it sucks all the water up into the tube and it mixes it with the chemicals that are in there. So what I'm gonna show you is two different things. There's a cylinder that you can actually, if you give this a second, slide it down in there and see I'm doing it with the point up. And the reason is so I can see the color down at the bottom. And you wanna be outside really, or go outside when you do this so you can hold it up to the light and see what kind of color you're really getting. Another way to do this is put it right up here next to the ampules that they've already got with the different colors. As you can see here, we don't have a lot of chlorine in the water here where we're at. We're not at my house, so this is actually city drinking water and very low levels of chlorine. But remember, we're in the wintertime right now, so there's not a lot of mold, mildew, and bacteria growing in the cold water. In the summer times is when they really start adding the chlorine to help make sure that they kill off everything. So the water here right now, actually very good. Guys, why would you want to test this? Chlorine and chloramine are not good for you, but they're also not good for your plumbing system. And what I mean by that is if you've had to replace your flappers or angle stops or hose bibs or anything very often because the rubber gets eaten up, that is because of the chlorine in the water. It starts eating up that rubber and makes it really, really soft. Think about how much you're drinking too. When I tested my water at home, it was very, very high. There was actually four parts per million chlorine in the water at home, and a swimming pool is only supposed to have one part per million. So guys, test your water. And if you've got a water filtration system or a softener on your home, please do me a favor, leave a comment down below and let me know which one you have. If you have a softener or an anti-scale or something too, let me know about that because I want to know, do you just have a filtration system? Do you have a softener? Do you have an anti-scaler or do you have a whole house water treatment system? Because there are all kinds of those around. Now for my big tip, guys, a water filtration system is worth it. When the guys installed mine at home, I got home that night and guys, you always see me with my Yeti. I drank pure water. I drank clean, filtered, bottled water that comes out of the big five-gallon containers. And I do this because I like the high alkaline water, and that's what I get. But here's the thing. When I got home that day, the guys had left me a note at home and said, Roger, we know you drink water like this. Try water out of the tap and compare them. And I got to tell you, drinking-wise, I couldn't tell a difference. There was no taste in the drinking water. The filtration systems that we use are really, really good. The hardness, guys, I don't have any problems like that anymore. My big tip is, look, if you're a plumber or you work for a plumbing company and you believe in water quality and water filtration, start talking to them about it and start studying and find out what system might be best for your area. If you're a homeowner, there's nothing I recommend more. Filtered water is going to be great for you and your family. Now, the fluoride, you're still going to get that. So if you have young babies, there may be something else you want to do. But I'm telling you, when it comes to city drinking water, the Safe Drinking Water Act is great. But we need to keep the chlorine and chloramine out of our homes and protect our families. Guys, I'm Roger Wakefield, Elite AP, the expert plumber. I'll see you on the next video if you don't get flushed.